Hello and welcome to the club. I'm your host Mars and this is the Upper 90 Club Roundtable Podcast where five friends discuss the Columbus Crew. Oh, tip of the hat, Mars! <laughs> welcome back, Ben. <laughs> Off the top! <laughs> I'm hijacking uh, this right now. You know why? Go ahead. Yeah, because why? I have a record release show this Friday. Boom. And if you're listening to this after Friday, you missed it. <laughs> but you can still get the record. <laughs> yeah. But you can still, totally still get the record unless it's sold out. But it won't be. But it might <laughs> so, be. I got the ad block at the top. All right, Ben, keep going. Where's the show? Uh, Rumba, Us, Teeth Marks, Cordial Sins, and my band Minnows. Second commercial is just going to be literally two and a half minutes previewing the record. So sorry. In advance. Okay. Buckle up. Great. Buckle That's up. That's great. All right. Well, uh, other than that, on this episode, we're going to uh, quickly review the second leg of the Houston. Uh, aggregate series for the 3C tournament. Uh, we're going to go through the Red Bull result from this past weekend. We will get a uh, our first Crew 2 update from Ka-ka. President Bird. <laughs> I hope it there'll be more energy than that. He's got. Ka-ka. Does he have new tech? <laughs> oh, yeah. He got a we brand new him, mic. We sent him a hot, hot mic. You sent him a hot mic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send anything we'll on that? Up. Is he sick now? What did you put on the mic? Uh, you know, I last time you the shipped the mic, day. somebody yeah, gets. Sick. I shipped it the same day as when I sent Ben the norovirus. Uh, you mean neurovirus? <laughs> <laughs> sick in the brain. Yeah. Also, we will uh, read a little bit of the internet, and we will review our prediction results, both both ours and the listeners, and then look ahead to the Charlotte game in Charlotte. The future. Mecklenburg or wherever it is. Uh, Saturday, this Saturday, the 23rd. Yeah. So uh, with me in the club are Ben, Mort, Trey, and Haas. Full house. Say hey, guys. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. Who who did that quiet tip of the hat? (laughs) (laughs) Back in the saddle again. Uh, So before we talk briefly about Houston, um, well, that was a home game too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. was. Oh, yeah. So let's just for the for the big board. Let's talk about attendance. Who went to the Houston game? We talked about attendance. We talked about how many people would be there. Who among us was present? More. Was I was waving. among Oz us. Was there. I was also there. Okay. Yeah, Trey, you. Nope. Nope. Ben. I no. w- was I in town. No. No, you were still. Yeah, <laughs> you must have been. You sh- you not sure if you were there. You were not. No, I don't even know. You were not at the game. You were not one of twelve thousand four hundred and twenty people that were reported. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Yep. Yeah, so twelve thousand. That wow, was, that's pretty good. It's three was times. Was it twelve thousand reported? Did it, did it seem? To- the Nordic looked decently. The Nordic crowded. looked pretty full. Yeah. Yeah, I was it had say- its empty pockets up at the top, but most of top it was pockets. Nordic, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fair well, to say we were about 50 percent there. So it's probably a little overreported, like it normally is, but. It was when it needed to be allowed. It was it was decent, fifty yeah, percent, and that we scored fifty percent of the goals. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the. Uh, let's just let's talk through this game real quick. We'll just spend a couple minutes on it. Feels like it was, God, almost. It's almost a, It was a professional so performance. Last season, okay, and I a lifetime that. ago. Seems yeah. Like so, pause just real quick. We did see some lineup changes there. Go through that real quick. Yeah, so we started with Cucho, Ramirez, and Jason Russell Rowe up top. Yaboa, Nagby, Jones getting his first start, and Farsi across the middle. Marrera, Chaberko, Zawadzki in the back, and Schulte in goal. And and from that lineup, the thing that I, I want to mention from that game is Jones coming in and yeah. playing from start and really showing that he can be a critical piece for us this year. He, he was solid. Yeah. And he looks very good. He doesn't only look good, he looks huge compared to the rest yeah, of us. Yeah. Yeah. He's, like, yeah, he's a giant. Yeah. He's like big brother out there. So I mean, like it's he's, he's just like a big technology? guy. Technology? Yeah, no, yeah. he took he took charge. He was the boss in the midfield, you know? Yeah. He did I mean But he has but he has the passing ability too. That's the he's big, calm that's, on the ball. Yeah. yeah. 
He has that nagging yeah. Morris ability to, to play it left or right and split lines, and that's what we didn't have last year. So It's exciting to I see guess. some of the depth play. So, yep. Something else we didn't see last year was the uh, shiny new hairdo that Cucho had. Oof. Uh, Platinum. It's, it's it's doing well for him. Uh, he scored early, what? 40th. 15, six, oh, okay. All right. Um. And then that was that was it for the scoring until like the very end, right? But we only had to we only had to tie yep. to advance because of our away goal. Um and Houston did later score, right? Off of like a late handball. Handball right? by Marrera. Yeah, which called a PK. Probably I would Not call a, a, a push and a free kick yeah. for Columbus crew. Yeah, they're like, his hand was in an unnatural position. I'm like, that happens when you get pushed in the back. Your hands yeah. go, woohoo. But like, <laughs> in the end, didn't matter. Didn't matter. Correct. Professional didn't matter. performance. Yeah, I, I forgot think, about it. It they, only they, mattered they, when you predicted one nothing, and it would have been one nothing, and then it wasn't it was one one. Yeah, yeah. save for, save for a, a late uh, errant handball there. Um, yep. It was another 1 0 result, guys. Yep. Um, Again, the goal makes things different. Unlike, <laughs> so he said, "No, never mind. I'm not going to go there." Somebody else on this pod said something about one nothing, and it turned into one one, and he got say crucified name, by the rest name. of the group here. <laughs> Just saying, not bitter. It doesn't sound like it. Um, and then <laughs> he uh, muted his so, mic. He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he's uh, he he's wishing that he had that that new. Uh, Crew kit from winning the uh, winning the tournament last year, right? Are you going to get that new jersey anytime oh, soon? Oh yeah, I got I got an update. I'm I'm getting it here soon. So Ooh. okay, I'm excited. So have is it the black one or the Charlie Brown one? It's the Charlie Brown one. Oh, so okay, you know, I like get, that. Getting with the upper ninety on the back, so you know, like nice. they, they, they couldn't find enough use and peas, so they they it took a little longer to get them. <laughs> All right. Well, something something new to cry into anyway. Uh, and then and then going. It, let's look forward to it look forward to a few days ago uh, when we played the Red Bull, <laughs> that big Red Bull at home. One one of <laughs> one. <laughs> when the Red Bull came charging into town, uh, and we God we scored three three games worth of goals in that one. Uh, let's <laughs> jump in. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about who was there. Uh, did anybody else make the trip? More the, uh, fathers of three. The usual suspects were there. <laughs> yep. It's hard having kids, guys. It's, it's oh, so yeah, hard. I just think like mine apparently because I'm there all the time. Or yeah, yeah, but you, they're you're older. older. I, 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 they're I was older. I was at the game with Finn for this one. I have to say that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. we we watched it um, at a friend's house with people who are new to the game and and got them into it and they were enjoying it. So. Well, and this was back to like regular season classic, right? It was a, a full house, looked like good energy. It was very good energy. I mean, this is some, one of those things when you play some of these old rivals and also uh, you kind of kick it off in the right way. This is like one of the few games so far. I feel like we have a proper kickoff with a proper wise man and proper setup yeah. and Josh Williams kind of... Uh, the whole thing for him before the game. They, the crowd was really fired up for this one. They had uh, J9 and Eric Garrett coming out, yes. hammered. Yeah, totally sober. <laughs> chugging a beer. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's Yeah, it's almost like when that stuff happens, we go out and crush a team. So maybe yeah. just don't mess with uh, Wiseman and, you know, start of the game. You think that we should employ J9, Eric Garrett, and Josh Williams as full-time uh, match igniters and... Just give them each like a, a forty and a flask, and I know it's jumping ahead a little, but oh. isn't isn't Justin still employed by Charlotte? Doesn't matter. I don't. Think I don't so. think he is. So when I, I was checked. looking earlier today, it showed him as on the roster. Really, I checked and it's. I thought I didn't see it on there. I thought it was very. I guess we'll see next week or the Saturday. There's just no way to find out. It would no, be bananas if he was like starting. It might have been game. like Fat Mob or something. He I don't is, know if he's injured. He or is what. still an unsigned free agent. Okay. Okay. It must have been something on Fat Mob. I saw. Sorry. According to MLS Soccer, Soccer. 
dugout. Yeah, it would be crazy. He skips the game to because they were both wearing <laughs> Joshua. Williams I assumed jerseys. he was hurt or something, so he was in town <laughs> because he was hurt. So he was <laughs> hammered at a different stadium, <laughs> igniting the game. <laughs> awesome. I can't imagine that conversation to Charlotte's front office. Like, listen. I've got well, an idea. It's St. Patty's Day. I want to... It's, it's yeah, the Saturday before St. Patty's Day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And then we saw the lineup for this game kind of uh, evolve, progress. This was our what was it, fourth game in 15 days or something. We expected a lot of rotation. And, Sixth and that game kind of in thing. 19. Wow. So it could also be fourth and 15. I don't know the numbers. So. It's two and four. Uh, <laughs> Math hit me. Hit, hit me with the lineup, Haas. We had Rossi, Cucho, and the Pirate up top. Yaboa, Morris, Nagby, and Zawadski across the middle. Amundsen, Camacho, Marrera in the back, and Schulte in goal, as he has been every other game this season. Yeah. This year. The Schulte's guy, Schulte guy's got promise. Um, <laughs> Interesting uh, lineup, though. But yeah. Savatsky's position out there on the right, that's a little bit of a new, new wrinkle. Variant, a wrinkle. A and wrinkle. it was a, there was some, there was a, uh, definitely some, uh, and we didn't line up necessarily how FUPMOP was showing it up either with, uh, with where Rossi was playing. Because it was clearly that Rossi was staying very wide on the right and Yaboa very wide on the left. And that was by design. Kind of shift right. to that 3-3-4 three, three, is what I noticed partway through the game. And they, yes. they've probably been doing it and I just hadn't noticed it. Um, but it was prominent in that game. Yeah, I meant to say that earlier, like before this game, um, two games ago. It, well, even before that, um, on the right <laughs> last side, season, yeah. MLS Cup. <laughs> so Will Trap was uh, he was playing like real crazy <laughs> under Burhalter. No, uh, so I, I noticed that Morris was actually on the right side a lot, going out and collecting the ball. Like he was back when they uh, fought mob had us playing like a like a four three three. Do you guys remember that? So like, and I think Zawatsky is doing kind of what he does now. Is like. And I think also in transition is what you're talking about on the three three four. With, yeah, so with like, possession. Yeah, with possession, I think we play we line up differently than when we lose the ball. It's kind of like Correct. you know we, we set back up. No, I think it also was we we definitely targeted Duncan um, on that uh, right back for New York Red Bulls. There were um, he was on skates a lot of this mm-hmm. game. And and uh, Yaboa was dominating him. There was a, a point in the game where Yaboa was just doing a little shimmy, and he almost fell over because he was like ready for that run. But we we totally did this on purpose in transition. They're high press pressing press, uh, high pressing team, right? So there was that release ball, the long release ball, and we saw it many times coming over the top to the left, to the right, to our two fast players on Rossi and Yaboa. So the lineup. Definitely the had MLS to Cup special. Yeah, right? MLS is to the Cup. Except special this time play. in the air. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Twice. That's interesting. Yeah, they hit it twice too. Yeah, that first one, Yaboa was going to try and take it himself, like in the final, and kind of just it didn't. The steps in the, you know, mm-hmm. goalie position didn't really line up, but that's what led to the first goal, right? And that first goal was six. 13th minute. 13th, 13th minute. minute. Yeah. yeah, it was a copy of an earlier play too. So, Yeah, talk through that one, Haas. So after the crew have possessed for a few minutes on the right side and they aren't able to break anything down, the ball goes back to Camacho, who quickly passes to Amundsen. He plays a ball over the top to Yaboa on the left side, who's past his defender. As he chases the ball down, Cucho beats his defender and stays on side. Yaboa passes the ball into the box with his first touch. Cucho runs onto it, shoots hard with his right, past Miguel into the top bin. S- uh, second assist for you? I've seen conflicting numbers and I haven't had time to dig in, but whether it was his second assist or fourth assist, uh, I don't know if they're talking about like hockey assists. I could only find two. Maybe I'm an idiot. Well, we just found out that Miram's not not even on a team. So. <laughs> 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 Just waiting for it all to roll in. Have you have you tried Swiss Cal? 
He has two assists. He has two official <laughs> assists for, for, for the year, if that was the Correct. question. Yep. Uh, but again, played over the top over Duncan that uh, he he definitely uh, uh, he woke up in a dizzy state for sure. And uh, there was one of those those balls or the go the one of those goals that you can see was happening so early. So when the second that ball was played, like half the stands were like everybody was standing up because yeah. we knew it was coming. It's like we a wave you see in the, the defenders. defenders. Yeah. So by yeah. the time, but by the time that ball was played in, we were all like holding on to each other, like <laughs> like yeah, it's happening. It was it was phenomenal because you knew the goal was going to happen. It was I- inevitable, and it was such a great it was such a great like feeling when you know you have so much confidence in the team. And that you just knew it was going to happen. The second that ball went over the end, we knew it's going to be a goal. Well, and this game was the first. I mean, we, we I made the joke earlier about. I don't. I again, we don't have statistics available to us because it's uh, it's we're, we're we do we're, we don't understand them. We just, <laughs> yeah, so, Bunch s- of numbers. statistics such as how many goals have we scored in games? I don't know how many goal games we've scored three goals in, but I don't I don't know that we've done that yet. And we've scored a lot of uh, one goal games to date this season, which is pretty pretty unusual. This this had a lot of twenty twenty three vibes. Uh, the the Cincinnati game in August last year after the League's Cup comes to mind, where we just put on a clinic and so I all that yeah. is to say that the, the way that we started this game was much in the same way whereas in the past when we've been playing these high press teams we've kind of been caught off guard but that was not the case in this game no it, yeah, yeah go ahead yeah I I think we actually learned from because that's how teams are starting to play us that's how Minnesota started out right um, so I, I think they've been drilling that stuff because what they're doing now is if, if they're playing out of the back They'll play it to one of the the three center backs, and the center backs, instead of trying to play it like up to the wing or try to go through Nagby or Morris, they have been looking for that you know Cucho dropping in because in that space because the space in between the two center mids and the the forwards is huge, like thirty yards or something crazy. So I saw time and time again they were just like looking up Cucho or Rossi would make that run back. They would play him into his feet. He would take a touch left or right, and then the wingers would be streaking up the side, and they'd be wide open, like whatever the opposite way was. It, it happened like ten times. I counted. I was like, "Yeah, that's the easiest way to beat the press is you just use that space and play it straight into the striker's feet." And piece ju- of cake. And just being on a in the zone. I mean, the the team was clearly in the zone. I mean, I I used the word flow during the game. That they were just like they they were it was just like every touch was so confident everybody knew what they were doing. Uh, Schulte on the ball sometimes the decision he makes now compared to like a year ago. Yeah, I mean he's so calm on the ball. Uh, Camacho from the back. There was a point I don't know if it was the first or second half where he had a little dink over the the uh, the uh, the forward pressuring him like he just little did a little juggle over his leg and then just made the pass. I mean, they were so confident, and it was almost like a, uh, it almost an arrogance to it, right? Well, and coming into this game anyway, Red Bull was not a poor team. Right? They, were, they undefeated. were undefeated. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, um, I don't know. And I didn't uh, know that Tolkien was playing until second half. Seriously, I have to, he cut I, his hair. Yeah. No, no, it's not that. I looked it up <laughs> because he was. I knew he had the haircut. He did that in the end of the season last year, but I. I I was like, is he even playing? Because I haven't noticed him at all. He's usually had, yeah, he usually has a, a pretty strong presence. Yes. but he was he was not a prominent. And player actually, except for the goalie, the he had the half. lowest ranking on their team from uh, from Footmob. Hmm. So I don't know if he was okay. pulled into the squad this weekend. But all right, uh, anything else about first half? We saw that there was a hard foul shortly after the goal. That wasn't called. There were a um, lot of hard a, fouls. A hard, in this like game. there was also some, some, yeah, some things that weren't called where I thought they were going to literally break Cucho's leg. There were, there was some, there was some wild tackle that was not called. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say that we were. I'm. I, I think we're going to come back to some of the refereeing a little later on this podcast. Yep. For sure, I have some venting to do on that too. I mean, I would say four corners in the first half. Uh, and seven total in the game, 
not one of them played short. I I love seeing the ball get played into the box because I feel like that's where we're really going to generate opportunities. Yeah, we scored so few last year after Zellerian left. And even before, he, I think he had a hard time kind of breaking that first line of defense, right? Yeah. Um, if, he, if he wasn't shooting, right, if he's coming from the corner, we, we just haven't seen a lot of uh, dividends paid from, from our corner performance. But uh, let's jump to the second half. Um, we had uh, – were there any subs at the halftime? No. 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 Uh, but we did see um, – we we stole one away, pirate style. J R R, Jason Russell Rowe uh, scored a, a really great goal. Um, where it looked like it occurred to him mid stride that he was faster than he thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my take on on watching that. It was like oh, I'm not fast enough. Oh, I am. I am. And yeah. he. Uh, but uh, Haas, go through that one. So Aiden Morris knocks the ball away in the midfield, and it goes to Cucho. He takes one touch forward, sees Jason Russell Rowe making that line-breaking run in behind, plays the ball through perfectly. Uh, he takes one touch forward just into the box, shoots low with his right to the right of the keeper into the side netting. The Great. the takeaway from Morris was absolutely yeah, beast mode. key. So, I mean, you got to think that Cucho had a goal and an assist, and Aiden Morris was still the man of the match based on numbers. Like, he had one of the best games I've seen him in the in a crew uniform. Like, period. He was an absolute terror, that like, in the entire middle. And it all started from that takeaway. Like, For just, sure. Just literally just, like, poking it away. And then, yeah. Like, yeah, it just... The way Pirate runs, it always is like... Is he fast? And it's like, yeah. Yeah, he's well, really Yeah, fast. because Cucho put that ball like kind of down, uh, Neil Sika would say, High Street, right? And, or down and, Neil Avenue? And yeah. he, no, well, no, Russell Rowe was on Neil, okay? <laughs> that makes sense. And, and he <laughs> they run was, parallel. And he was, uh, he was outside, like there was a defender between him and the ball. And he was running and it like just at the first three seconds or, you know, it's probably more like a half a second. It was just like, oh, he's not going to make it. And then all of a sudden, he just like, oh, yeah, you know, turbo mode, <laughs> hold the Y key or whatever, and just like, just burned around and made that first touch and then put it in. It was great. So I'm glad to see him. So with, glad with the speed. he's starting to get yeah. three things, right? Speed, confidence, accuracy. That's what he's been missing. And uh, yeah, he's getting the goals. And, and he has another, didn't he have another sitter in this one too? I, I swear it was... He did in the Houston match, for in sure. In the Houston, Houston game, Houston, he had one. He that was the Houston sure. game. He had one that was... Oh, yeah, yeah, of... yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah, but his positioning is also amazing. They, they, there's a reason why he has sitters and he gets in these positions. It's because he's a great striker. I mean, that's just... That's uh, that's what I think. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, we spoiled Yeah, right and now. just so you know, Pirate is JRR. We put it out on Twitter. You know, Himmel's freaking out over there mars is going don't say it but we're saying it we did not get any negative feedback and in, in fact the floor decking down there he was like yeah totally say it well actually he just posted a picture of a pirate but i think, just, I, I think it was a, a pirate cat but yeah that's fine I oh the yeah, oh, yes. and, and we and we haven't talked to God, there's so many side topics that we've been missing just week Too after many. week that pirate cat they've got marching around out there. <laughs> the, the new uh, crew oh, yeah. mascot is oh. total good old gap total, tooth. It's a hack. They have, two, uh, they have yeah, <laughs> they they have two different ones going on. They were next to each other right in front of me the other day, and I was like, they're definitely very different. These two, yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's I like it's a, yeah. You remember multiplicity, right? Where they just like keep copying the yeah, thing but it's, it's kind of like weird, a weird starts copy. To lose fidelity, yeah. It looks like and an artist, Batman. It, yeah. it looks like one of those AI drawings. Like it just doesn't look quite right. You know what I mean? It looks kind of artificial. That's the new crew cat. Yeah, mask. Yeah, gap tooth kitty. <laughs> okay, and then uh, uh, all right, let's let's talk about the third goal. Morris had a. His first goal of the season in the was 66. Yes. Six, yeah. Haas, go ahead minute. and 
Go through that, but let Talk me know if them. it was thigh or dong, because I felt like it was. <laughs> uh, was corner kick. We'll take a thumbs up, thumbs down vote here. <laughs> corner Wink kick taken with- by Rossi. Crosses near post to Zawadski. Flicks yeah. it on with his head yeah. across the box to a wide open Morris. Dong. The back post who plays it off his thigh, in my opinion. A gold made in goal. Ohio. No, I, yeah. Didn't they call it something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Zawadski is also a monster in the air, right? Like, he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. But he's had height, a yeah. ton of success when he's, I mean, he's not Why shouldn't tall. he be? Uh, yeah, he is. <laughs> he's tall, I think. How tall? Taller than you are. Six foot. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's six so foot. Watsky? Yes. That means you his, think he I'm that six two. His, you think he's his, taller than six two? He I is six foot. Six he is oh, six foot. Yeah, on a good day. <laughs> I thought you were just Trey's Trey looked it up on Swiss Cow. <laughs> Gotta be true. Morgan's son is six foot tall. No, <laughs> Morgan's <laughs> Morgan's probably about six it foot. It has right? him as six foot yeah. 159 pounds, which seems a little thin, but you know. Yeah. Morgan's beefier for sure. I'm six two three twenty. <laughs> Biggie size number one. Is that why you always have your camera off like the whale? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You are six two two twenty more like it, but all right. Cool. Uh, hey, so uh, all right. Camera so adds hundred pounds. It was a yeah, great commanding game. Uh, great crew uh, is on fire. Your defense yeah, I, is terrified. We have more. That's also <laughs> the new more. song they're singing now after oh. the goal. See if you haven't noticed. That's what we're doing now. Uh, ben, see if you can just like cut that. cut more doing it and then just like paste it a hundred times on top so we could emulate na, na, it na, like na, the crowd na, na, was doing na, it. I'll take it all the rest of my free time and do stuff. Like <laughs> okay, and play play that out. Play that out into the break. And when we come back... Um, I do want to talk about so- a few side topics from this game. Um, hey, and before then- we go, Will Sands is back. Yeah, I know. Sandman. Oh, the Sandman. yeah. Sandman. I wanted to talk about hear- the number three. Yeah, we'll hear more about that in the uh, Crew 2 because he ended up playing most of the Crew 2 game too. Okay. Yeah, and the All crowd right. liked it a lot. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. That's good to see. It was, it was good to see the, the awareness, right, where – Everyone knew that this was uh, like a big moment for him. Yeah, to come all back the boys and... were like high fiving him coming on the field and stuff. Yeah. It was awesome. Awesome. Love it. Awesome. Don't play in Charlotte. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't even the get whole on the team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's just not show up. <laughs> Forfeit. Yeah. And just put Miram in his place. All right. We'll be right, Trap. <laughs> This episode of the Upper 90 Club is brought to you, as always, by Supporter Supply Company. Hi, friends. This is your good pal, Morgan Hughes, here to talk to you about a serious issue facing 96% of all crew supporters in Columbus. Why, not enough free shipping, of course. For a limited time, now through the eventual heat death of the universe, Upper 90 Club listeners can use the promo code UPPER90BOYS. That's boys with a Z on the end at checkout for free delivery on absolutely any order over $10. But Morgan, what if I order $10 worth of stickers or those goddamned buttons or some other combination of small items that make you want to kill yourself? Will the free shipping still apply then, even as you curse our family while you package up our little tiny annoying ass order for us? <laughs> of course it will. That's just how much we here at Supporter Supply value our friends at the Upper 90 Club. So head on over to supportersupply.co and use the promo code UPPER90BOYS. That's boys with a Z. At checkout for free shipping on all your orders over $10. And don't forget to tell them that your friends at the Upper 90 Club sent ya. We're back. In addition to the game, we want to talk about Cucho. Ben, I think that you're feeling anxiety. You sent a text. You Just are in worried, general. Worried <laughs> that... Uh, There's a lot going on. Yeah, uh, but unrelated to a lot going on, specifically there was uh, your concerns with Cucho's performance... Uh, the season to date being a uh, too good. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? One hundred percent. Summarize that correctly. Oh, one hundred percent. What makes you say that? Uh, well, we we kind of talked about it earlier, and I think we all agreed that if you know he started hot 
and kept scoring that he might be like a summer transfer target or something like yeah. that for yeah. a different league. And it's just like every game he's scoring and it's like, yay. Like maybe the, maybe I, the white hair will I, make him appear older. I think and, it should be you know, more of a happy yay, not a nervous yay. Yeah. Celebrate it, enjoy it, calm the f- down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you, Enjoy can you, it. Get pumped about it. It's hard. Yeah. It's old after me. No, the, it's not. Like, SSRI, there's no reason to be down. anxious about it because it, it's a it's a matter of you have to trust that the fact that the team is playing so well that he wants to be here. And there's no inclination yeah. that he doesn't. And that's, he, that's, true, he, that's true. That's true. That's true. Maybe he dyed his hair white to appear older to yeah. you know make people think that he's you know past his prime. That's what uh, I do. Let's They're talk all about enjoying, enjoying it. Friend. I have to ask because I saw it before the game, and I, it could happen every game. I want to know if you guys have ever noticed the team hugs, where they literally go every single player to every single player within the team and like give each other a hug before the game starts. Yeah, sounds like a super. Should spreader. we do that? Very hugger. I'm just saying. I'm a hugger. Every team doesn't do I'm that, right? Like these guys are no. enjoying it. Oh and yeah. 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 They like playing with one another. Well, and let's let's just talk about the general <laughs> quality that differently. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 talk about the Context. general quality. I mean, they're like we've talked about this before. Uh, we mentioned it before we got started here. It doesn't get much better than this, guys. Right? I mean, oh yeah, enjoy yeah. it. What do you want in your team and other than uh, total domination? You know, complete domination starting a season coming off the <laughs> yep. championship last it's season. It's just right? so much positivity. Just and I think it starts actually, like we said, with the front office and the and the coach, and and the people you have around the club. And and there's so much positivity. The crowd is into it. Everybody loves all the players. We don't have, you know, usually we have like one guy that everybody's like, that player is kind of an a-hole, but he's still on the team. So we have to like, Kamara, but uh, somebody like that. <laughs> but uh, but like there's so much love going around the stadium, right? There's, there's such yeah. a good vibe being there. Everybody's so positive. Everybody's just so into it. And I, I talked about it this with my, my friend during the game. It's like, Dude, it doesn't get much better than this. Like this home game, three nothing domination of a good rival, and and with a packed house, so the crowd is into it. Yeah, enjoy the ride. We know it won't last forever, but let's let's make it last as long as we can and just take I'm it all. I'm not in. convinced it's not just going to last forever. That's why I'm trying to hold on like bear claws around. Because like I called at the beginning of the season, I'm like I'm worried about Kucho if he starts strong. I'm worried we're going to lose Schulte, and I think. He's surprisingly going to be a big loss if we lose him. There I'm worried is. about Aiden and Nancy. And You're worried we're going to lose the whole damn team. Yeah, I got to speak to a therapist. <laughs> yeah, you do real fast. There's no reason to have so, these thoughts. So know, you're man. paying me a lot of money, and all you ever talk about is the Columbus Crew soccer team. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, those. Are, that's the root of my uh, psychological uh, problems. But uh, the not not uh not insignificant we did see something about uh arsenal looking at schulte right i don't i mean i don't know what you think about that is is do you think that bears merit and would he even play if he no, would or would we see like a zach stefan kind of i think it bears riding? merit but no yeah. i don't think he'd play no, no it, he yeah, I definitely play. won't play i think it's a stretch i think actually the the fact that he wasn't called up now is a good thing I right. don't know. One don't well, know when to have more. To the, to the US yeah, he's going to the Olympic stuff. team, right? He's going to the Olympic yeah. team. Not the Nations um, League, though. I I think Arsenal look at about a hundred different players, so it's like who you look at and mm. who you you follow on on uh, Twitter, it will come up, and they might be looking at yeah. four different goalies in MLS. You know, you know, U.S. goalkeepers are usually kind of in demand. They have a good reputation. Well, and there's on, on that note. I mean, you also want. I mean, unless you're Ben, you want your players being linked to big clubs. That is a positive. Yeah. You know, yeah, we're fresh we, too. Right. And we want to be looked at as a team that, or as a league that sells players on when they have the ability to. It might be a detriment to us, but if we have a chance to sell to Arsenal, to Man United, to Tottenham, to Chelsea, to Real Madrid, whatever, the, whatever club it may be, you're going to garner big wages from that. Trace an MLS fan. I just, I, I want, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, please. hey, like if our players aren't going to be here forever, yeah, I want to uh, see them move on to bigger and better things, you know, and, and 
if Cucho is goes back to the EPL, I want him going to a big six club or or, or a top ten type club. Sure, I want fifteen he's, million dollars. Thirty million. Trace, million, Trace million. interviewing for Don Garber's job right now. <laughs> 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 These referees, they're fantastic. <laughs> but I mean, if, if we've you ever had good things, you you become a a a club that that get the best out of you, right? You will get the next talent. You will bring a new talent yeah, to your point. That, that's right. It and and there's there's some thought to when you guys were talking earlier, uh, just about the individual performances. Um, I I I have that thought when I'm watching the game. How, the players are good, right? But being in this ecosystem is good for them, right? It's bringing the best out of them. Oh yeah, correct. Yeah, and it's not so, it's not just the first team; it's crew too. It's the academy. It's it's all the way down the line of um, of where the like you said the ecosystem within the entire club is a positive experience. We're bringing players all the way up and through, um, and moving them on, bringing them in, moving them on. That's a positive. Unless you're bad. Well, it makes it may may make some of the non like headline player like a Kucha, you know, so, some of the mid mid not you know household name players who are still integral parts of the team just want to stay to to ride the wave, right? And yeah. uh, and be a part of the culture, and, uh, and then and then come what may with the. With the big names, you know. Yep. Talking about getting the best out of them, two of our players made team of the match day. What a match day it was. Cucho and Aiden Morris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, awesome. I think they're calling it match day five because Messi play or yeah, Inter Miami. Inter Miami. Miami. Inter Miami. Yeah. You like how that sounds? That's yeah, they gave really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he gave them an extra game that. so that they could sit at the top of the East. Have you notice that? Yeah. And now all yes. the match days are one week off because yeah. they had one game. Thanks, Messi. Uh, <laughs> it's hashtag thanks, Messi. I love that's, that. that's, that's, uh, hey, so you mentioned the referees, uh, and then you mentioned uh, wanting to rage about it earlier. Um, go ahead. Now's your time. Uh, man. So, I was under the impression that the pro referees were on strike, but it's not pro referees because those were pro referees, right? Like the no. Um, what are you talking about? They have pro badges. <laughs> they must pay. They must pay badges. Hold on, hold on. Let might talk. Be they might, hold be, on, talk they might be borrowing their uh-huh. jerseys uh-huh. or something. You. So you think they're not pro? No, pro is a company. That's what I'm saying. Oh, right. by MLS. Uh, sh- no. <laughs> yes, I thought that. No, <laughs> the replacement referees are working for pro. They're going to wear a pro badge because they are working for pro. They're the replacement refs. Do they have to take a test? Yes. Yeah. They're official they, referees. They, they, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. They are, come they 10, from are they 1099? Are they W-2? Scabs. Yeah, that's we, what I'm saying. 1099 it W-2. It says here they they're come W-2 from, now. They come from uh, Brazil, Turkey, Spain, Italy, Jamaica, Mexico, Poland, and other 18 of former or current national team referees in U.S. soccer. So the, the company that provides the refs for MLS games is Pro, Professional Referee, referee Organization. So where the ones that are on strike were the ones that were previously employed. They brought in other people to employ. They're still under the umbrella as a pro ref. Listener Getting question. Who, $13 an hour. Who in the Upper 90 <laughs> Club used to be a referee? Not me. me. Oh, I thought you were. No. I was. You're not... I Trey, I could swear you were a referee. He Trey, just knows Trey, you've the got FIFA some, books. no, you've got you've got some referee <laughs> energy. <Yeah. Okay. laughs> some big ref energy. Big yeah. ref energy. <laughs> Pro but, ref. But it, it's we we got in two week like what are were we like week four or five, whatever it is, it's becoming glaring that it's becoming an issue. There was there was errors, more errors than normal in so many games. I think five of the games this week had red cards. That's also a signal of poor match management, right? I think this game, though, I'm not going to... I don't know if this was poor match management. I think this was Red Bull coming out with an agenda to do... To come out and be chippy. Yeah, (laughs) come out and do damage. Here he goes. Here he goes defending the refs again. Yeah, hack him. And he didn't do a good job of it. Like, I... 
I thought he. Uh, I mean, he missed. I it. thought Cucho was taken out in the box. I thought so. I mean, at the I end of the like, at the end of the first half, there was a oh, handball. Rossi tried to Maya's play the ball yes, square. Yes. That was a handball. He did a poor job, but mm-hmm. I mean, it do was a poor job all the way. A, well, that's what I'm asking: is do you think that they are doing bad jobs for both teams on the field? Yeah, they're or? just incompetent. I, I think they're doing a bad job across the leagues. Yeah. You see, yeah. you see the thing that was happening this week yeah. in the MLS. If you look some of the highlights and things, and bad calls leading to goals and non calls and non red cards, think they're and just. It was, yeah, it's they're insane. just a step down from from your standard pro ref that has been, you know. But I mean, that's going to be what you get when you're you get rid of fifteen referees or whatever it was. Fifteen. And, and by the way, they said it, it, it. Yeah, it's become a little ridiculous. They said now what they're asking is something what costs each club ninety four thousand dollars. I think they said for the whole season right. to agree with their refs now. So that would be the cost. Oh, so I, they're putting it back on the like. Oh, if you don't like the refs, you pay for them. This what? league is kind no, of oh, yeah. So you're saying our, our, it's all one thing anyway? Yeah, yeah, it's single entity. Yeah, no, I get it. Hey, I, hey, crap! I, I can pay an extra dollar. I mean, if we put in like extra dollar per game to don't, pay for the refs, don't I'll do tell that. the team that. Don't no, if no. every team pay. did it. No, hey, make more I, pay. I I think we if should. Every team. I think we should. <laughs> I think we should resist the urge to continue this discussion. Yeah, let's get let's get off the riffs. Yes, it's, it's yeah, not. On. He did a poor let's job at, let, let, at let's maintaining. Get back to well, the crew. as he used let's, to say, the, the the referee was not used to that what? kind of meant atmosphere. He was drenched <laughs> okay. by the atmosphere. I would say. What do you say? About okay. It? Well, he he was probably surprised. Sure, quoting at, my band. Yes, was it I've been quoting your band all night. You, three times. <laughs> you have yeah, been? I keep seeing it. Yeah, he keeps <laughs> quoting lyrics from my stuff, and I'm like, I was like, <laughs> he's he's dizzy. He said dizzy earlier, and I'm like, <laughs> that is a <laughs> that's a. Uh, what's the Are next you reading the liner? Oh, you're just reading. Yeah, I, I was going to well, use to play with dynamite. I'll blow your mind tonight, but I was going to save that for the uh, for the uh, pick'em. So okay, so not only <laughs> did, not these. only did the top block these. the top block was an ad spot for Ben's band. God. Now he's paying one of the panelists. <laughs> yeah, to read lyrics. Thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I give it. He's I do even it. Even in, inserting his own way. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm a man too broke to fight. So I mean, okay, so. Is, is it the record liner notes right there? Do we put? Yeah, I, I haven't even I seen think, the record I think I yet. Have, they're I have, they're right? on the liner notes. You put, yeah. you put all the lyrics on here I for me. <laughs> so I okay, have that it all. Makes sense. Mort's been studying. Uh, next segment. Next segment brought to you by the new Minnows. The record. whole family was like uh, listening to your record. Record earlier, release then. will be at uh, Rumba this Friday with. Uh, Paul Bufano. I'm hoping to de- get a free ticket. I don't want to pay the twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? You were just saying you'd pay an extra dollar for every ticket no, to every for the crew refs. Game. All right, all right, all right. So that's stop, that's about stop, twelve dollars for how many of you guys? You guys are out of. Uh, where are my cards? Yeah, you need to start guarding people. That's not even me. Just this yeah, whole club I'm, is out of order. You're yeah, out of order. <laughs> You're out Let's of order. hold on. Before we read the internet, I do want to talk just quickly about. But the I defense. mentioned, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, that's I want to talk about the defense. I mentioned it earlier, just about how we started the game, but talk about the defense. Take it away, Ben. Ah, oh, they're just great. They're just great. <laughs> no, I, I, I think agree. something. Right, moving on. So I think I thought about this <laughs> after like the third game. I was like, well, there's so many people guessing correct scores because the games haven't been as chaotic from our back line. Like right. literally, up until like after League's Cup last year the we were giving up goals left and right and like this year i would say what what one or two of those goals were dog crap anyway like probably should not late have late given. late yeah. or pk for the most part i think we've given up like one or two goals like we're not scoring as much but our defense we're not doing anything different we just had it figured out cuz everybody at the beginning of the season was like we're well, going to get a lot of goals and give up a lot of goals I'm our like, we have watch given our, up you we have, have given our, up Two goals all season. Schulte yeah. has in, in coming up MLS. big yeah. to yeah. many of them. Yeah, that's also true. But it, it's, oh, it, no, he, it yeah. speaks. Yeah, and, and like we're still playing three in the back. We're still playing, you know, Nazi ball. So, I mean, we just we're just playing really well, right? <laughs> we held Red Bull to yes. three total shots. We held Forsberg to a single shot himself. Yes, I, I love watching the defense, even with the rotation. The rotate like. 
players coming in and out because of the CCC. Everyone's stepping up and playing well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been awesome. And I also want to give a shout to Zawatsky, you know, compared to Farsi. Do you think, you know, Ramadan's going on right now. Do you think that has anything to do with him not starting Farsi? Le- legitimate question. Yes. Because he's, he's, not, he's not eating until the break. Right? He, so. he he played the Houston game and uh, he got to, they, they uh, gave him food and drink and all that stuff awesome. in like the 70th minute. But it wasn't like MLS how they did it. And I've so far in this game too, uh, I think we started after the Ramadan might be over in this game. But in the in the Houston game, there was no break for it like we did last year. Remember last year we did actually break in the game to yeah, allow right, for the guys right, to right. get food. He's also but coming I, off an injury. I, so probably com- yeah, a combination of the two, That's also true. mostly the injury. I don't know. Yeah. But I, I mean, zawaski has been playing really well at like the right wing. Every position. Especially, especially when you're moving forward, he's pushing. If, if like anybody steps forward, he pushes into the middle. Which center helps. back, left center back. Do you take him? Wing he, back. He, do you think he's beating out Arfston in that position now? Is that what you're saying? I think he's borderline beating out Farsi. No. no. I don't know. Man. Not a chance. No. Look, if you look no. at his Not stats. a chance. No, man. Because Farsi doesn't have the uh, versatility. I mean, yeah. they're plugging Zawatsky in. It's because he's good enough to tow the Farsi line. But Zawatsky's the Renaissance man. I mean, they're going to put him in where they have a gap to fill everywhere. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, he's versatile. you know where there's a gap he's to fill good. potato, but uh, crew cats. Teeth. And there was a <laughs> <laughs> there were, oh yeah. So I did want to talk. I I was actually going to jump to the internet, but I mean, I think we should spend a couple minutes just talking about, talking crew, about cats. crew cats. <laughs> 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 what happened, guys? Uh, uh, so, okay, just everyone's just fast quick, forwarding right now. Like, quick, <laughs> quick. <laughs> there were quotes yeah, of Nazi right. and Zawaski having a nonverbal communication between them, where they can just look at each other, and In Zawatsky knows what Nancy you, wants him to do. It's like they're each of crew cat's teeth, like yeah. just looking at each other from a from distance, fast <laughs> cap. <laughs> uh. I was going to try to combine their last names, and I said it in my head, and I was like, better not say that. Uh, okay, good. So, <laughs> so Probably cut that. Real, real quick on the, on the uh, history of the crew cat. We had a crew cat, right? There was, yep. there was crew cat. That was his name? Its, it's name. name. Okay. All right. Their we don't know. Name. The human beings. Yeah. We didn't get a peek under the shorts of Crew Cat, but... Uh, we tried. Not without trying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. More, more is distraught. <laughs> Mort's under the bleachers. <laughs> uh, like, all right. Then, kitty, kitty. then Anthony Precourt came along and said that one Crew Cat was not enough. We needed... No, he got rid of Crew no, Cat. He got, he got rid had of Crew SC. Cat. Oh, really? Crew Cat yeah. was gone? SC. Was, okay, yeah. and we didn't right. know if it was a cat because it wasn't in the name, <laughs> <laughs> right? We were like, "What is? What animal is that?" And then they brought Crew human. Cat back, <laughs> and then they changed his face. And then they were like a duo. It was like a duo. <laughs> yeah, the duo was fine. They go around the stadium <laughs> together. So, yeah, they're yeah. friends. <laughs> they're friends like hell. Adam's but Adam's like, son <laughs> was bawling because Crew Cat left him, and he really wanted to hang out with Crew oh, Cat. Cr- do you guys remember when Crew Cat scared, scared the crap out of out of my daughter? Yeah, uh, yeah, because uh, we were, yeah we were staying with with Haas and and Daly and and Bryce, and literally Crew Cat came and and turned and my daughter started bawling and it was I mean it was honestly hilarious but it was the complete this, opposite this of was that. Pre, it was very funny. This was yes. pre pre gap pre gap. This is pre gap cat. Okay, yeah, pre gap cat. You know, and I, I mean, and I'm not saying here, like, you know, I don't, I'm not hating on, on like gap teeth in general. I think, you know, plenty of folks can pull it off. This cat cannot, this cat cannot. I just think they have multiple heads and suits around the stadium and one of them's worse than the other for crew cat. (laughs) And that's the one that people notice. Well, I was going to say, like, do you think that there was some kind of smelting accident where (laughs) crew cat OG was like, was rendered, uh, I think it was like team America where they like. They're like, we need a head of like Matt Damon, and then when the Matt Damon head showed up, they're like, <laughs> Crew Cat of old okay. got a little too much into the catnip, changed him <laughs> forever. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I think like the Gumbino stuff, it gets 
gross, so they have to replace it. Did anybody see the the video of Gumbino oh, jumping off the, the ladder? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. my Lord. GCG bag doing the Lord's work. I'll tell you what. I have so many crew cat pictures on my phone. Okay. That you were trying to pick. <laughs> <take a peek? laughs> They're all low <laughs> shots. They're all low <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, duct taping your phone to your foot right. in the bathroom. See That's how you do it. <laughs> That's why you're always missing the no. goals. <laughs> yeah. I keep taking kids to the bathroom. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Screw cat going right. in there? <laughs> All right, let's Which let's uh, let's let's get our uh, let's get our minds right and, and go to a, a better place. The internet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Is there a better place? Matt Doyle? Matt Doyle threw out a quote uh, or a stat about our passing accuracy. Ben, yep. you have that pulled up? Yeah, I don't. I do. Go for it, Trey. All right. There was not even a whiff of that in their trip to Columbus on Saturday night. The crew through 30 minutes were completing 90.7 of percentage of their passes. By full time, they had actually reached 91.3%. In their games versus the crew last year, they allowed 80 to 81% passing accuracy. Those were two of just seven times they allowed better than 80% pass completion rate across all of last year. None of those seven were higher than 84%. You have to go back further than I care to look. I made it to 2019 before I gave up to find the last time the Red Bull allowed over 90% pass completion in a game. Which is to say that Columbus exercised a level of control over the proceedings that made this feel like men versus boys. They opened the scoring with a pure crew goal. Yeah, we can hammer this all, man. It was such a dominant performance. For 90 minutes. Yeah. It was like constant. From start to, was, start to finish. Well, I, and I think we kind of touched on it when we were talking about the refs, too, is that, I mean, even with their tactic of trying to be more aggressive and to literally take the legs out from under the crew, that plays into the crew was, you, well, you look at the stat, and, and that's even more impressive because there were so many fouls, and usually those fouls lead to breakup of accurate passes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so, and and look how they were frustrated. Yeah, oh, it would yeah. be too if I played for the team. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like, why are we called New York Red Bull? <laughs> we play in Jersey. <laughs> play in Jersey. I, I live in Jersey. No, uh, one wants to live in Jersey. No. Yeah. So uh, thanks. Shout out Tom Boger. They, we, yeah, we got that from yep. Boger. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, shout out to Tom Boger, and I think he's gonna. He's going to have a recurring segment on here uh, in some capacity, so stay tuned for that. Uh, now we're going to go jump to the uh, another ad block for the Minnows record. Woo! Oh, yeah. For the next two and a half minutes, put on your shades and prepare to be the coolest. Never 
stop searching, never stop searching, never stop searching. Hello, I'm back, and I now have this really sweet microphone so that you guys can hear the subtleties of my sweet South American accent. And I wish I would come with a win for the Cappies, but their first game was this Sunday, and they did lose to the New York Red Bulls 2-0 at home. And I think that what we saw there was a team that's going through some growing pains, you know. Uh, it was a, first, a tough first half. It, they, they looked a lot better in the second, creating more chances. They just need to figure out their scoring. And they got scored on two counters. I think that a little bit more better communication in the back line would have helped. Um, but we have lots of new faces. We have a new coach. And it's a team that is trying to replicate the NC ball. And, you know, Crew 2 fans know that it's hard to replicate an NC ball when you don't have guys like Cucho, Morris, and Agby on your team. But we have guys who can definitely step up and help. We did see some first teamers make uh, an appearance yesterday. Uh, Philip Quinton um, started and played the whole game. So did, did Hagen a go and Will Sands as well. And of those three, I think that Sands did the best. He showed uh, that explosiveness and the ability to dribble well and get uh, out of pressure pressure from the back. I'm very excited um, to what he could look like coming in for the first team as an option as well. So that's good. Uh, but we had some highlights as well from some of our mainstays crew two guys. I think Mroka uh, might have been the best player on the team. Uh, Sense was very good as well. Uh, he had really good playmaking. He uh, His long passes are on point this season. Uh, Jaden Da, the new draft pick from the crew that signed with crew two, uh, showed some good skills in the attack as well. He uh, probably can make... A little bit quicker decisions with the ball, but it looked good. Um, especially a guy his size, he has he's got speed and he's got agility to play in tight spaces. Um, Jordan Knight, who is his third year with the crew too, did start playing at right center back, which was weird. I uh, consider him more of an attacking threat. It's kind of think of it as if we put Farsi to play in Moreira's role. It could work. I will see how it plays out. We'll see how it goes. Um, he definitely has got speed, and uh, he's also a very technical player. We'll see how it goes. And I think that uh, Chase Adams, uh, the newer or younger side of our squad, I think he's 15 or 16 now, He, I th also think that he played really well. He was our most dangerous player in the attack. Also very excited to follow him this season. So, yeah, um, I think we come again next Sunday, and uh, the game will be at Historic Crew Stadium. Every oh, actually, the game is away, I think in Charlotte, but I'll double check. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but it's good to be back, guys, and I hope we have a really good season to talk about coming up. Bye-bye. All right, we're back. Hey, and welcome back, Bird. Yeah. Great to hear from you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, uh, unfortunately, we got beat. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it was a tough one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. But, you know, it's, it's all right. Uh, actually, I think Montreal, Montreal got beat. Uh, Courtois, they lost. They lost what late. their first Ooh, game, but they've been doing well. Circus there. match, ridiculous circus yeah. match. Oh my lord! Yeah, I watched that goal a bunch because I was like, "There's no it's way." A wind gust, but it it kind of yeah. I mean, oh no, I the ball going back was and forth if, accelerating yeah. in the air. It's no joke because yeah, like he he kicked it like almost towards the corner flag. Acosta did, and it looked like it would go half as far. <laughs> and the next thing I know, the goalie's like backtracking and it like. He oh, like, yes, yeah. He dunks it into his own net. I, the whole thing was four suspect. to three, right? That was the fourth. But they were goal up three two in the ninety fifth, ninety fifth minute or something. Yeah. I think. Well, anyway, yeah. and they scored in the ninety second too. Glad to have so. uh, Bird back. Crew two. Uh, long season. Long season. It's a long season. Hey, yeah. and Sands played the entire game. Quinton and Hagen. There you go. And I think this is probably That's a good cool. time to say Hagen got to play, which is great. He looked, I mean, I only watched probably 15, 20 minutes of it. He looked pretty good. But Hagen's called up, Aiden is called up, and Schulte is called up. Is there anybody else called up? Oh, and Russell Rowe for the Canadian national team. So we are going to be losing some dudes. So. Okay. Well, yeah, and I know the international break's coming up. Um, I'll tell you now that my break is coming up. I'm not going to be here next week. So What? what? Yeah. Where are you to, gonna be? Have to find somebody else to 
just uh, fill the air. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about before we go get into our predict picks. Trademark um, TM. Do you Haas, Can you run through the uh, tables real quick? Tables. Just tables. 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 I can't know how to hear any more about tables. So currently in the East, Miami's in first with ten points. And an extra game. Five games yeah. played. Yeah. Allegedly. Crew have 10 points, four games played. Cincinnati with eight points. Montreal, Toronto, New York with seven. Atlanta, Nashville with six. D.C. with five. Chicago, Charlotte with four. Charlotte coming up next week, currently in 11th place. NYCFC and Philly with three. Orlando with one. New England with zero. Wow. And there is a Caleb lot of teams Porter. at the bottom of yeah, the Caleb tables. Yeah, Caleb Porter, zero points. What do you guys think about? I saw that Caleb Porter. What do you think about that? I think he's, uh, I think he's on paper uh, they have a good team. Same thing with Orlando, but uh, and I don't know. Philly, and Philly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, now let's jump to our uh, summary and looking forward of our predict picks. All right. So, uh, looking at the last game, of course, uh, uh, home three nothing demolishment. Of we the- all did. We all predict two goals for the crew. Yeah. Yes, we all predicted two goals yeah. for the crew, and we were all but not wrong. All uh, but the only ones that predicted wins uh, was Trey and Ben. Ben again with his two one prediction that he's going to go with all year long. I'm thinking todos los años and Hoss. Uh, Mars and myself, of course, went with a 2-2 uh, draw. So, of course, we get no points. Um, I mean, there was detached, thoughtless, you know, and I will try to numb the pain. But that means from the score that Ben is on top still with five Keep points. Keep the hat! <laughs> yeah. And Haas. We're like top of the Look hat. at Haas. He's he's living a good life with his new rules in this game on, on second place and fourth place. And in the basement, there's a party of uh, Mars, uh, Trey, and myself. And crew cap. And crew cap. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, the new one, right? The new, the new one, one with, the gap, with the gap tooth. <clears throat> yeah, Dude, I right. bet she's got a great personality. Or she. <laughs> it. It's a cat. What? Life of the party. Oh, you don't think cats, cats don't have gender? Is still, <laughs> no, cats, cats are so don't have gender. <laughs> just as or Bob sex. Barker. <laughs> it's just a creature. Wait. I've seen it. All right, so so then, <laughs> oh looking ahead. To, oh no! Before we look ahead, let's talk about the listeners. We did have somebody get a correct uh, prediction, right? Yeah, Brian Schneck. Good on you. Yeah, on the board. I think he only has one correct, right? Does he have two? We got to no. compile some information. We got to compile who's who's in there, but we know there's a couple that has two that is uh, eagerly waiting to predict for the next game. Uh, okay, let's let's do our predictions. Are you guys ready to throw it out there? All right, let's talk about D's. I, next I don't games. know. I, I, I thought I you got to think about that. I'm already sweating. Man, I don't even know. Like, I, buckle I, up, Buttercup. My tongue is sweating. I'm not good at doing things. <laughs> Let's go through it here. Let's start with Ben. Ben says one to one. Uh, <laughs> Charlotte put, wins this draw. <laughs> usually one to one. Usually loss. we would lead. We would lean toward uh, the crew to win the draws, but uh, Ben has actually given the especially uh, away the advantage of this draw <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Charlotte. I had a and two. It, I had a two one <laughs> loss. Okay, and because I was like, I you know I don't. We're on turf. We might rest some people. It's going to be weird. They, yeah, they. But I was at the last second. I was like, eh, I don't, I don't think we're going to lose. But I don't think we're going to win. So that left me with a t- okay, one to one. Yeah. All right, Mort, you said, I think you said <laughs> we're going to lose two to one. No, can you the way read that? that? Type- we're a way one team. I two. even put. Charlotte crew one. You two. needed to like space it down one line or something. I mean, yeah. I get it. But yeah. really, okay. you don't get that. Charlotte crew one so, dash two. 
All right. I All right. So crew one. Un- <laughs> Punctuation is key. Unfortunately, everyone has to hear this. Uh, you, if if there were cuts available in the world, you you would hear me say Mort says crew two Charlotte one. Well, I'll pass right? it on to the people that said two Here, nothing I'll- or three one to the home team. All right, let's do that. All right, I'll I'll screenshot it and we'll send it out tonight and see what people think. Yeah, that's a good that's a good use of the internet. Uh, more, you think that the crew's <laughs> going to win just, two to one? I, I think the just, crew, crew's going to win two to one because it's on turf. If it wasn't on turf, we will win four to one. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Uh, Trey, you said two nothing, Charlotte. Two no. nothing. You said it says two nothing. The home yeah, team is we, Charlotte. Away team is crew. You said I put true. it down. Trey, I'd do like, you want Charlotte we, to win? Two, I know two that to this zero. this doesn't add to the quality of the show, but yeah. I would just like to point out that the whole reason why we're doing this whole chat thing is because Trey was sitting in his third position there. Just like poaching scores to try and like climb up the table at See, the end of last season. Le- so now, if you just leave it ambiguous, and then you can fight for whichever angle. <laughs> Smart. Everybody else isn't fighting for. So that's the bend position. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, I'm anxious to hear what you have to say. Two nothing crew. It's a way Charlotte's not a very good team. We are, and just mostly back to what we had talked about earlier about our defense being much. I don't want to, I don't, it's not even improved. We've just continued the, the progression, the, um, progression, the dominance out. that we had from the end of last year. I think it's going to be two nothing. Okay. Haas, you said three to one. Crew win. Yes, I did. Throw in some darts. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I'm sure it's. <laughs> Who's going to score? <laughs> I'm just here taking a dip in the hot tub. Just eating yeah. a sandwich. You guys Rolling know some that, balls uh, down the lane. <laughs> you guys, you guys know that beating a dead horse is a metaphor for torturing a metaphor. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, my uh, my prediction is one zero crew. You that heard it here first. Seems. I don't think you're on la- on brand for this year. Boy. For sure. Ben off brand. He dropped his two one thing. <clears throat> no, like he had never done what? it before. See, see, Seeing that Ben is the only one who winning predicted a draw, I, yeah, I'm kind of thinking he's probably gonna just he's gonna pull ahead here. I got that almanac in, in Mars defense. It's the first time you have selected one nothing this year. I thought it was Mars you mean, attacks. <laughs> you mean after his all time worst prediction of <laughs> we will? I'm gonna double down win. on not not being a one <laughs> yeah, zero team yeah. all year. <laughs> yeah, and 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 Miami will not make the playoffs. <laughs> I, will, I will continue. Uh-huh. They do. They do have an extra game, and and we'll see how many games Messi plays. It's not Messi. Season, it's everybody but, else. Um. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Good. We'll see. Yep. Okay. Uh, my- yeah. So submit your predictions on uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Mammoth. Or, what, what are we on? What are we on? We're on, yeah, we're on uh yeah, just, guy, just YouTube. film yourself predicting the score on YouTube <laughs> and post it as a comment. Yep. Um, that, but yeah, we've yeah. seen a lot of engagement, so we appreciate that. And uh, I think a couple, a few folks have, have gotten at least one. Um, Haas, you met somebody at the game, didn't you? Yeah, Nachiket Thorat. Pronunciations brought to you by the idiots of Upper 90 Club. Found me on the Instagram and I let him know where we were hanging out. Got him some magnets. Got him some wristbands. He good guy. Uh, yeah, yep. seemed like a nice guy. I'm sorry if I was really drunk, but yeah, we had a couple of when you met. How we it do? Was nice meeting, anyways. But we remember now. <laughs> that's, that's how we no, the do. wristbands. The wristbands are great. So yeah, hit us up on the wristband. Um, I've got mine on. I tried to I bring wristbands some out to some winners and some stuff. I tried to bring them to every game too. Yeah, while supplies last. Magnets. You should People wear like them. them. So and we have like, lots of them. What is happening? Like all up your arm, like a ton of them. If you see them in public on the way to the game or elsewhere, grab it. Throw it on your car. Can we throw something else out there? If if anybody sees a car with one of the upper 90 magnets on it and and takes a picture and sends it to us on Twitter or Instagram, 
We'll send you, you something Google special. Google the license plate. No, no, no. <laughs> Who you are. We will We will send you something. We'll send you, you one. If you see one of ours. We'll, we'll send you some swag. We'll send, send you some extra stuff. All right. So, yeah, we got a uh, game against Charlotte here. Uh, and then, yeah, it's it's going to be nice to be able to see some kind of semblance of a, of a regular lineup here for the next... Two weeks, <laughs> nine days, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two games. So I was thinking that we would get more out of this, but yeah, we've got a couple weeks of uh, of regular season play, two away games, right? Charlotte and Nashville, Nashville. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we've Tuesday. got uh, T Grace at home. So after could be that rotation on, for Nashville. On second. Technically, okay. All right. Well, until then, um, we will be back next week. Go crew. Go. Go. It's crew time! Thanks everyone for joining the club. We hope you'll listen next week and every week, even in the off season, to celebrate or commiserate. We'll save you a seat. If you like this podcast, please give us five stars and subscribe. You can email us at upper90clubpod at gmail.com. That's upper90clubpod at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at upper90clubpod. Go crew! Well, Swiss cow, tough beef. Here it happens. Too many <laughs> bourbons. Right no, this is this is a thing that like I just, it's just not right. <laughs> oh, this got to go straight to the end of the podcast.